So I, I, I just could not sleep last night. Uh, and it is um, not from fear. It's not from not from worries about the coronavirus. It's not from worries about what might happen in the market. Do I think we're at the bottom of the market? Probably not. But I just couldn't sleep last night and um, it wasn't out of fear. It was absolutely out of just a, a quiet confidence and something that I just felt like I, I had to share with you. Um, so we're trying a video, see see if we can get it out on the social media and, and communicate it to, to you soon. Um, as I record this, it is Saturday, March 14th, 2020. Um, in the last handful of, of weeks, the stock market, um, as measured by the S&P 500, is down something like 20%, really close to 20% from its highs. And um, there's just a ton, a ton of fear. Um, as most of you know, I am an avid reader. I say reader, put it in air quotes. Um, I listened to a bunch of audiobooks, happened to reach um, for an audiobook um, about a week and a half ago from Robert Schiller called um, Narrative Economics. Uh, Robert Schiller won Nobel Prize in Economics here recently, so um, pretty, pretty well known um, in economic circles. Uh, the subtitle, the subtitle of the of the uh, book is um, "How Stories Go Viral and Drive Economic Events." Uh, so, what he's talking about here are ideas like Bitcoin, ideas like uh, the the Laffer curve. Um, if you're th familiar with that from from uh, taxes, um, it really made, got me thinking. Okay, so if if this gentleman he wrote the book in 2017 he wrote the book in 2017 how does he see this event in the market today started looking around for for recent um, remarks from him and came across an idea that he is um, saying we've got two epidemics we got two epidemic narratives going on right now one the actual virus itself uh, and how it is being transmitted through um, uh, from country to country and stuff we haven't seen for, for years, century maybe. Um, and on top of that, the narrative of fear, the narrative of fear. And at that point, um, it's also the conversation of the narrative becomes self-fulfilling prophecy. And with that, that we get to choose what the narratives are we believe. Um, the narratives that we tell, the stories we tell are transferable from one person to another. Um, and I had this aha moment as I was trying to go to bed last night, it kept me awake all night long because I wanted to share it with you. And, and so here it is, that, that idea that we get to choose the narratives that we believe and all narratives are transferable. It's what we want to believe as a society. And the good news for the clients that work with Wayne and I, we are immune, we are immunized from the fear narrative. And what I mean by that is not that there won't be economic consequences, because there will be. There's absolutely going to be ex economic consequences. We've seen it already. It's probably going to get worse before it gets better to some degree. No one can call the bottom of the market. You know, Friday was a, quote, good day in the market. It was up a bunch, but I'm sure there's going to be more volatile days. But we've done the hard work already. We've done the hard work. We have a plan. We know what the plan is. We have a process. We are immunized from the fear. Now, do you need a booster shot? Maybe. And if you need a booster shot, Wayne and I are here to answer, answer those questions. Um, make sure you remember how it is that we're immunized from the fear. We have a plan. We have a process. Uh, for those of you taking distributions from accounts, we're going to be reaching out to you shortly to talk about what we're doing on that side um, as well. So one, apologize for the the... the uh, video quality. We want to get something out to you as quick as we can. Uh, get something through compliance. So doing this a little bit one-off. Um, there's that piece. And two, if we can be people with quiet confidence, quiet assurance, and in our daily interactions, transfer that idea, transfer that quiet confidence to the people we encounter. As a society, we can choose a different narrative over fear. Fear leads to panic. Panic's not good for anybody. We need to make rational decisions. We've already done the hard work on building the plan. Let's go execute the plan. I hope this makes sense. I hope this gives you a little bit of encouragement, courage, a little shot in the arm, a little booster of, of um, that, that immunization shot, whatever you might need. If you need to give us a call, do so. Um, we're here to take care of you and make sure that, that we're all on the same page of what next steps look like. H have a great day. Thanks for your, your business. Thanks for your trust. Um, look forward to serving you in the future.